Hey, what's up, guys? Tony here, and you're watching some Battlefield 4 uh, from the PS4 on my channel. It's sort of a rarity now to see any sort of Battlefield gameplay, and um, I want to, you know what? I want to talk about Battlefield. I really do because I, I've avoided it just because of the fact that I found that there's a lot of negativity right now surrounding Battlefield, and Battlefield is a game, is a series that I have, I have grown to love. Love is my own child, and I've been. I have tried to be the forever optimist, and with a with a sentence structure like that, I'm pretty sure you can sort of guess where where I'm heading with with this commentary. But I want I, I really strongly suggest you stick around because it's not it, it's not going to be what you think. Now here's the thing. Uh, let's I want to first talk about the Second Assault DLC uh, that we're we were playing right now, and uh, mainly because that's really what I was looking forward to, and I was looking forward to seeing these maps. Which um, it's kind of funny because. The tagline was that these are the fan favorites that were that were remastered for Battlefield 4. And a lot of people were just like, God, I hated these maps. And Golf of Oman for me was hit and miss. I actually, I do like it. I really do. Uh, Operation Metro, I like that. Uh, Operation Firestorm, I love Firestorm. Um, and then Caspian Border, uh, I like Caspian Border, but from the air, not really from the ground standpoint. And same with uh, Operation Firestorm. I never really played it on the ground. I was always flying. So I always, I really don't like when it comes to playing on the ground in Firestorm. I really did. I don't really don't know how to play it. I just more or less know how to fly around and uh, do my thing that way. But for these maps, uh, oh, and the other one I think is, um, uh, is it North Shore Canals? Was North Shore Canals brought back? Anyways, it doesn't really matter. Um, here's the thing. I think these maps look wonderful and they play really well. I like the way they play and they play just like the old maps. I mean... You know, it's funny because Tim uh, Darkness429 tweeted about, you know, Operation Metro, you know, plays exactly like it plays on Battlefield 3. And to which, when he said that, I was kind of surprised because it's not like a whole lot was changed. I know they added a new route uh, to one of the flags and um, that's it. <laughs> I mean, they, they added one more way to get up to that second floor towards the uh, turnstiles and the back. But everyone plays it as as we're used to playing in Battlefield 3, which is normal because, I mean, the game, the map hasn't changed. So why would suddenly the map play different? Um, so these maps play exactly like they do in their their previous-gen counterpart or the previous previous game. And that that's fine. It's comfortable. I like it. It doesn't really bother me. The things that I actually really do enjoy, like you see the sandstorm coming in, the, the quote, Levolution, I think is really nice. It adds a unique aspect to the game. Um, and uh, I really enjoy it. I really do. So there are there are things about this that I, th I think are fucking awesome. The Levolution parts, I think, are pretty cool. Um, you know, when the storms come in, like I was just saying, I think it's cool. This shit, that's not so cool. I, I could do without that. And that is what's kind of bringing me to the, the other part of this commentary is that the bullshit that that turned me off, uh, that turned me away from Battlefield 4 is still here. It is still here despite, uh, I don't know, a couple of patches. The problems are still here. You got the 0% deaths. You've got the one hit kills. Um, the funny, there's a comical, there are just comical problems with the, this new, new DLC. I mean, besides the, besides the fact that it looks great, um, it, it, it plays just like the old Battlefield game or the old, um, they see there's another one. She's like, God damn it. Um, plays like Battlefield 3. <laughs> the comical one is, is Caspian Border. If you're trying to take off in a jet, the runway's not long enough, and you end up running off the runway, and some people crash and die. And uh, I saw tweets about it today. And uh, I, when I was playing on the Caspian Border, I was taking off from the Russian side, and I'm just like, come on, come on, come on, get up, you son of a bitch. And uh, finally, I took off. I bounced off the ground, and then I took off. And for me, I was just kind of like, "Wow, what the fuck, man? Who, what, what, why?" And then it dawned on me just now that they designed Battlefield Four where the jets don't actually take off; they just come in screaming. So I think the uh, engineers, the uh, program designers, didn't take into account the the small runway size. And I don't know; they just didn't program it right. I really hope they fix that because it is kind of retarded that people don't actually take off you 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 exhaust the the runway and you bounce up in the air you're like what the fuck uh and the maps for 
Battlefield 3 or the uh the second assault maps they're there's just problem like the AA I have always felt in Battlefield 4 the AA is way too powerful and it's just it really makes flying a pain in the ass and I've tweeted about this and I've mentioned this before that I feel as if Dice hates air vehicles they just they don't like air vehicles so they do whatever they can to nerf them and to um, just make them not as fun. But uh, I don't really want to hammer on about this too much. Um, the things, basically, the nutshell is is that I think the DLC is, is really cool. I like the DLC. I really enjoy some of these maps being revived. It was like when I was, uh, for Battlefield 3, when they brought the, the uh, Back to Karkin maps out. Like, I loved Back to Karkin. That was probably my second favorite DLC and you can't really call it a DLC because it came out like a month after the game was released. It was just sort of that other thing that they put out. Um, but I think they did a good job. There are some, some things that obviously need to be fixed. Uh, and then, of course, there are things about the game that still need to be fixed. Um, and you've seen three, I think it's now three of these 0% you know, deaths that I've had. Um, you know, shoot first, die first kind of a thing. Uh, I don't know if I have a one hit kill in this one or one yeah one hit kill death in this one, but um, just just know that in the in the I don't know hour and a half or so that I've played the second assault DLC, uh, it's still there. Uh, it's it's ridiculous how it is still there. I don't understand. I don't. I really don't understand. That's kind of really what I don't. Uh, I like to give the developers the benefit of the doubt. I like to feel as if. I mean, these people are competent people. I mean, look what they've produced for us. You know, this is not an easy undertaking to produce a video game of this scope and uh, of this quality. Uh, but for some reason, you know, it reminds me of a problem. Anyone's got, everyone's got a problem before. And you go in and you've got this problem. And that's what I'm talking about right there. One shot kill from the same fucking guy. Um, so these things all over the place. Anyway, so you got a problem, and the more you try to fix it, the worse the problem becomes. And I'm kind of feeling that's where Battlefield 4 is right now. It's just like every time they do something, it just makes it worse. And so they might be trying. Oh, yeah, and the other thing that really pissed me off recently uh, that I've, I've started to notice is when you switch weapons sometimes, my weapon loadouts are different. So suddenly I, I spawn in with iron sights and... And nothing that I actually want for my weapon, so I got to go in and add all that crap again. I'm like, God damn it! Why does it do this? Um, but basically, I don't want to harp on dice too much because I, I want to be that beacon of hope. I want Battlefield 4 to be to be a good game. I purchased it on two platforms now. Um, I have hope that it'll get fixed. I really do. But right now, it's unplayable. Not really unplayable, but it, it's it, it's playable with uh, a grain of salt. You really got to take it with a grain of salt. You can't just go in there and expect to have great games. Bullshit's going to happen. You're going to bullshit people. People are going to bullshit you. It's not going to be fair. Um, but, I mean, it is what it is for the time being. Now, that being said, some of you might be wondering, like, how come you haven't posted a lot of stuff or a lot of shooter stuff on your channel? And some of it has to do with the problems of Battlefield 4. Um, but... To be honest, the current state of Battlefield 4 isn't really the driving factor for why I'm not playing. Um, I'm just not really into shooters right now. I don't know why. Um, I like how that guy spawned right in front of me. That that That's fucking terrible. <laughs> that sucks for that guy. He's just like, dude, I just spawned in. What the fuck? Um, but uh, I just don't feel shooters right now. I don't know why. I, I there's like If I were to sit down and think about the top four things that I would rather do or I do feel like doing with my knight, Oh yeah, this killed in action. That was kind of funny too. Um, like the top three or four things that I'd like to do with my knight, jumping on and playing Battlefield is not one of them. And it has nothing to do with the game. It's just I don't really have a drive to play shooters right now. I'd rather do high racing. I'd rather play DayZ. I'd rather play DC Universe Online. I would rather play Tomb Raider, The Last of Us. Um, there's a host of things that I would rather do. Um, instead of playing Battlefield 4. And it has nothing to do with playing Battlefield 4. It's just all shooters. Like, I own Call of Duty Ghost for PC and PS4. You know, I have Dom or, um, uh, Battlefield 4 for PC and PS4. I just don't feel like playing shooters. I don't. I have no idea why. And I'm kind of curious because I've heard from some other people they feel the same way. So let me know in the comment section um, how you feel about that. Are you, are you sort of like shootered out? Because I feel like I am. 
and I can't really explain why. So, anyways, guys, um, here they, you know, here's your look at that second assault on the PS4. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't turn you off. It, like I said, I'm I'm still optimistic that they're gonna fix it. It's just an unfortunate circumstance right now. So, uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, and I shall talk to you guys later.